Hey there, everybody. Um, got our first eight panels up and running. Um, pretty happy so far. Um, just got a couple little videos here showing a little, uh, couple things. You might be some tidbits to help you out. Um, we have a 612 roof, so it's we fight with, um, had a little bit of a fight keeping panels, having to hold the panel while you, while you fasten it down. So I got a secret for that and using a forklift. Then I got a little review of um, our first um, charge controller with the eight panels hooked up and how it's doing. Anyway, guys, we'll get to it right now. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the uh, like button and subscribe. So this is the obviously the best way to get these panels up on the roof. If you have access to a forklift, don't hesitate to ask. It will save you buku buku back pain. These are not light. As you can see, they're just a little bit smaller than a sheet of plywood, so they're probably 60, 70 pounds each. And after a while, if the wind's blowing at all, boy, they, they are something to handle. Especially if you're on a six, you know, anything more than a 512, 612 pitch roof, you gotta worry about them coming back down off the roof without being attached, you know. Anyway. Okay, so we're hanging panels. What we found, because we're on a about a 612 pitch, having just a strap here to hold this the corner of this bottom one so it doesn't slide down the roof. Works really well. Okay, bank A is up and running eight panels on it. Each panel is 550 watts. Um, and we're getting 3,700 uh, watts out of it right now. It's a very sunny day. It's very nice out. Um, so as the panels are producing 31 amps right now, it's basically the batteries are full, so it's actually limiting what we're putting out. As you can see here with the red blinking light. Now we're down to 18, so it's basically scaling back so basically only gives what the house needs or what the batteries need to stay charged um, maybe we'll turn some air conditioners on some pumps or something okay this next video is we actually got now 20 panels up and running not 22 but 20 panels up and running and I have three inverters running and we'll give just a little res response on that just like the next day after the other stuff we just did um, give a thumbs up Okay guys, it's about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we have 22 panels up on the roof working right now. Um, the first one, this first set, eight, it's the farthest away from the sun. I mean, they're all lined up next to each other, but this is the, the farthest set of eight. And like I said, 8.30 in the morning producing 1,900 watts. This one over here, 1,900 watts. That's the second group of eight right next to the other one. And then this one here only has six panels on it. And it's producing 925 watts. But this is the one that's basically closest. Um, it's it's the, the, the got the sun the last. So it's probably not as warm as these other ones. You know what I mean? The panel itself isn't as warm. <clears throat> they create better when the panel's warm. And then this one over here is not hooked up to nothing yet. As you can see, there's no red light here. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're producing about 8.30 in the morning. We're producing... What is that? About 5,000 watts of power, um, DC power, and then it's obviously going into the, the battery bank. Those are all Sun Golds, kind of amp hours each, five of them. And then we're <laughs> powering the house with the big mighty 18 kW Sun Gold inverter. Okay, so here's an update. Pan uh, batteries are full now. Um, so these charge controllers are now basically notched down all the power that all the amperage it's put into the batteries. Remember this was pushing like 130 amps DC amps to the batteries, the three of these. So we've now that the batteries are full, these are now restricting the flow to the batteries. These are Sun Gold Power. Um, 100 amp hour, I'm sorry, 100 amp charging output. Um, they can handle 5200 watts DC input each. Hey guys, I just want to say thanks for watching my videos. If you find them helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, just remember, I am not licensed to anything. So don't do as I do, but just follow along. It's all for entertainment purposes. If you learn something on the way, that's just a bonus. Um... Our next one of our next big projects probably going to be building a water wheel. 
So subscribe and uh, stay uh, ready for updates. Thanks for watching. Bye.